Are you struggling to manage change in your business? Do you see more and more change coming? I've got some bad news for you. I think that's about to continue. So one of the things we need to do is think about how we plan and manage for change. Hi there, my name's Russell Cummings. I'm a business coach that works with dynamic family and privately owned businesses. I help them to grow and prosper. Change is coming, right? It's a fundamental, I believe that the velocity and volume of change is increasing rapidly. It has increased in the last five to 10 years and it's gonna accelerate in terms of that change. So we need to get across how we're gonna plan and manage for it. And most businesses don't do this well. Some of the changes that I see coming, you know, we've talked about this in sort of five global trends videos and webinars. You know, we're going to see an impact of globalization. There's new technology and innovation that's coming along that you need to be across. Coupled to that is the amount of data and information. Seeing changing demographics of our target markets, you know, um, that's really important we stay across that. Labor dynamics, huge changes in that. Uh, in that sphere from robotics, also from outsourcing and globalization is the impact of that. Consumers want far more convenience in the way we deliver and a far more personalized service, not only in terms of marketing, but also in service delivery. Lots and lots of changes that are starting to drive industry and I guess only the strong will survive in this space. So why has change so hard? Well, it it changes about uncertainty, all right? So whenever we're changing something, we're moving to a less certain environment, and that creates insecurity. And when we're insecure, we hang on to the certainty. We hang on to certain things. So, so change is often really difficult for people to do, and it's only when the, their dissatisfaction with the status quo gets so high that they are motivated to change that we, do, that we see real motivation and change in business and in organizations. So one of the factors is if we're going to embrace change and it's coming, then then we really need to understand what's required to to um, to manage change successfully. Now Chris Mason from Mindshop has spent the last eight years studying a PhD into business change success and has identified ten factors that we can focus on that will improve your chance of success in change from the current low 30% average to a much, much higher rate. So if we can lift that, we get far better better returns out of things. Now, the good news is we've put this into a very simple diagnostic. Here's the model here, three key areas, ten factors. You can you, A simple way to approach this is to go to the website, the web link, here at uh, sbdbusiness.com.au change hyphen success hyphen diagnostic take our free diagnostic it'll give you a, a comprehensive report that highlights the key areas that you need to work on if you're going to I guess focus on change in your business in addition I'm also happy to have a, a 30 minute call for you and it might be around the results of your change diagnostic but I'm happy to have a, a free 30 minute obligation free call with you where we discuss your top issues and create a plan for you to address them. And the 30 minute challenge is for me to help you in that 30 minute call to add some real value to you that that is gonna help you take your business to another level. All right, to simply take advantage of that, go to take the 30 minute challenge.com, give me some details about your business and the issues you want to discuss, and uh, and we'll book a time and go from there. But really happy to do that, um, and we'll do that by, by either Skype or phone, so it's up to you. All right, I hope this has been useful. Get along to the change diagnostic and, and use it to help plan and drive change for your business moving forward. Thanks. I hope you have a great day.